empathetic. Becoming more empathetic involves developing the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, an essential trait in both personal and professional relationships. Empathy is closely linked to emotional intelligence and is considered a foundational element for social cohesion and understanding. While some people may be naturally more empathetic, it is a skill that can be cultivated and honed. Firstly, active listening is crucial to developing empathy. When someone is speaking, especially about something emotionally charged, focus on genuinely understanding what they're saying instead of formulating your own response or judgment. Make eye contact, nod to show you're engaged, and ask open-ended questions to delve deeper. For example, if a friend is talking about a recent breakup, instead of offering solutions like, you'll find someone better, listen attentively and ask, how are you feeling about all of this? This approach shows that you're interested in their emotional state and are not just offering a superficial response. Reading extensively, especially literature that centers on complex characters and emotions, can also be an avenue to foster empathy. Researchers like David Kidd and Emmanuel Castano have studied how reading literary fiction, as opposed to popular fiction or nonfiction, can improve readers' abilities to understand other people's mental states, which is a crucial component of empathy. For instance, delving into a book like To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee can offer insights into racial prejudice and moral growth compelling the reader to empathize with characters whose experiences are far removed from their own. Another powerful method to build empathy is to step out of your comfort zone and immerse yourself in environments where you are exposed to perspectives and experiences different from your own. Volunteering at a homeless shelter, participating in community dialogue sessions, or traveling to a different part of the world can broaden your understanding of human experiences and challenges. For example, spending a day volunteering at a refugee center may profoundly change your perspective on immigration issues, pushing you to empathize with the difficult circumstances these individuals face. The practice of perspective-taking can also significantly boost empathy. This involves consciously putting yourself in another person's shoes and imagining what their experiences, thoughts, and feelings might be. For instance, if a coworker seems snappy or irritable, instead of labeling them as difficult, consider what stressors they might be facing in their personal or professional life. By making a mental effort to view their situation from their standpoint, you're more likely to approach them with empathy rather than irritation or judgment. It's also important to recognize the emotional boundaries that come with empathy to avoid compassion fatigue, which is emotional and physical exhaustion that can result from the stress of caring for people who are suffering. This is especially important for people in caregiving professions like doctors and social workers. Learning to be empathetic without becoming overly emotionally invested is a skill in itself. It's about being present and offering emotional support while also maintaining your emotional equilibrium. In summary, empathy can be developed through a range of activities and practices, from active listening and extensive reading to volunteering and perspective taking. By integrating these habits into your daily life, you can become more empathetic, enhancing not only your own emotional well-being, but also contributing positively to the lives of those around you. As you deepen your capacity for empathy, you'll find that your relationships become richer, your judgments less severe, and your connections more authentic.